Welcome to another edition of Easy Theory. Today we're going to talk about the regex to NFA conversion. So of course regex stands for regular expression and we want to make an NFA out of it. Why? Because when we talked about regular expressions, what we wanted to do was to show that they are equivalent to the regular languages. So if we can show both directions here that I can convert a regex into an NFA and an NFA back into a regex, any regex, any NFA, then therefore the regexes recognize the regular languages, which is what we want. So we're only going to do this particular direction today. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to make an NFA out of a given regex. So we're, what we're given is a regex which we're going to call R, and what we want at the end is an NFA, uh, I'll call it N. So, um, I could, why does this show that we can make um, a regex for any regular language? Well, it's not quite that, it's the other way around. It's that every regex recognizes a regular language. And why do we know that? Well, we know that NFAs are equivalent to DFAs because that is the power set construction, what we did before. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to take a regex R and convert it to an NFA. How do we actually do this? Well, this is actually really simple once you remember what the definition of a regex is. So what is a regex? Well, remember... A regex has th uh, six possibilities. So remember that a regex could be the empty string, it could be the empty set, it could be a single character, it could be the union of two regexes, it could be the concatenation of two of them, or it could be one regex star. So how do we actually do this? Well, we can actually build up an NFA using these definitions. So let's actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put these definitions down here and I'm going to spread them out. Why do I want to spread them out? Well, in the case that R is the empty string, could I make an NFA for the empty string? Is that possible? And it turns out, yes, it is. It can actually achieve it really simply with a little NFA like this. So this NFA right here accepts just the empty string because, well, the start state is final and there's no transitions on anything, so it can't accept any other string. So this NFA accepts the empty string. So in the case that this regex R that we're given is the empty string, then we can make an NFA out of it. But what if it was one of the other five cases? What has to happen then, Ryan? <laughs> well, what could happen? So what if it was the empty set? Well, can we make an NFA for just the empty set? And it turns out, yes, we can. So we can make a very similar NFA where, the again, no transitions, but this state is not final also. Not also. Is not final. This one was final. Okay, what if I wanted to have a single character? So this regex should be just the single character A. Well, how do I make an NFA that accepts exactly that string, that one character A and nothing else at all? Well, we can't just stick with one state here. Uh, I can't make this start state final either because that would mean I would accept the empty string, and this doesn't have the empty string in it. Well, we can't have a self loop on A either, because then we would accept. Well, this would have to be a final state, first of all, but even if it was oh, setting that aside, then I would be able to accept two A's, three A's, etc. I just want to accept just a single A. Well, a really easy way to remedy this is with another state where I just go to that state which is final on that one character. So it doesn't accept the empty string, it, ex it does accept A, but it doesn't accept anything else because there's no transitions out of this one. Okay, so that's really simple. Well, what about these 
um, inductive cases where we have the union of two smaller regexes. Well, this is actually really easy for an NFA, as we've talked about before. What you do is you have one start state that epsilons to two uh, NFAs. So assuming that we made an NFA for each one of these, can we make an NFA for the whole thing? And it turns out, yes, we can. So what we do is we make uh, two boxes right here. So I'm going to call this an NFA for R1, whatever it looks like, I have no idea. And this is an NFA for R2, whatever it looks like, I do not know. So then what I'm going to do in orange is I'm going to make a brand new start state that has an epsilon transition to the old start states. And why does this get the union? Well, the NFA is going to have to make a choice of which of these two to take. Well, that's just union of whatever these two NFAs are. So that's pretty nice. What about for concatenation? So if I have an uh, R1, R2, R1 concatenated with R2, how do I actually um, use something similar in order to make an NFA for the whole thing? And it turns out that's also really easy. So what I do again is I'm going to make two boxes. So this is an NFA for R1. This one is for, for R2. So this is an NFA for R2. Well, what we want here is in order to get a string that's in the concatenation, what we do is we have to read a string out of the first one and then instantly jump to starting to read something from R2. Well, we've done this before. So let's just say that this is the start state of both of them. And let's say that this one has final states. This one also has final states. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the final states, the first one, no longer final. And I'm going to epsilon transition from those previously final states over to the, the start state of the next one. Because in order to accept at all, there's no final states over here anymore. So in order, order to accept anything, I have to get over to here. But in order to do that, I have to traverse through the first machine, go to one of the final states here, which means we accepted something, jump over to here, and then read something that R2 will generate. So that means that we'll generate something in the concatenation, which is pretty nice. Uh, what about for star? So we've actually done something like this also before. So remember that star only works on one regex. It doesn't, it's not um, a binary operation, it's a unary operation. So let's just say that we have an NFA for R1. And let's say that this has a start state here. Let's say it has some final states. And well, I can't, well, in order to have this work, I got to have a start state or something reachable from the start state be final. But I can't just willy-nilly make this final and, I'll, and pause the video and try to think why that that's the case. Why can't I just make this start state final? But it turns out that to do this correctly, what you need to do is to make a brand new start state that epsilon transitions its way to the old start state. In order to get the star to work, in order to go through the machine as many times as we want, then we need epsilon transitions from the final states over here over so that we can go through the machine again. Here you can actually go back to this state, the original start state, or the new start state. Either one is fine. I personally like to go to the brand new one because I'm not really modifying the internal structure of the NFA here. But that is actually a really nice recipe. So given any regex, we can actually make an NFA for that particular regex, which shows that every language recognized by a regular expression is regular. But the question that we'll leave for next time is, if we have a regular language, can I make a regex out of it? So that's not the same as what I just said. If I have a regex, I can make a regular language out of it, but that doesn't mean that every regular language is representable by a regex. So that's a question that we'll leave for next time. 
So if you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe to the channel. Please share this with as many people as you know to if they need help with this also. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. There are many links in the video description, including our Patreon and Discord server. And as always, I'll see you next time.